Well, China's no first use policy basically alleges that under no conditions would China be the first country to use nuclear weapons. You know, it has been a very important component of China's nuclear strategy from the very beginning of China's nuclear program. It has been a foundation pillar of China's nuclear doctrine. And even though China really uh, thinks that its no first use pledge uh, is ironclad, uh, it is very firm and unambiguous, international experts have looked into some uh, internal uh, documents written by authoritative Chinese military uh, officials and experts. And they found that when it comes to a serious conventional conflict, uh, the Chinese missile forces, they have specific doctrines to lower nuclear threshold. And they would consider threaten the use of nuclear weapons under certain conditions. For example, if some uh, strategic targets of China are threatened, China might threaten the use of nuclear weapons in a conventional war. But uh, these internal writings do not say whether China would follow through the threat to actually uh, employ nuclear weapons. Uh, so that ambiguity creates different interpretations about the credibility of China's no first use. And in recent years, as Chinese capabilities uh, increase, I think there is greater concern in the United States that new nuclear capabilities are enabling China to contemplate more offensive nuclear postures, including potential first use of nuclear weapons in a regional contact. And indeed, uh, China's uh, regional nuclear forces are becoming more accurate. And uh, you know, at least in theory, it offers China the option of threatening first use. And given the deteriorating US-China relations, uh, there are always some internal uh, debates about whether China should stick to no first use. Recently, Sha Kang, uh, former director general of uh, China's arms control department, openly said that China should modify its no first use. But I think in general, despite these different internal voices, I think there is a general consensus in Chinese policy community that no first use has served China well. It has provided China a moral high ground. China has no visible military incentive to use nuclear weapons first in future military scenarios, given the increasing Chinese conventional military advantage in the region. So I would argue that I don't think China would explicitly abandon no first use, even though given the perceived threats from the United States and the growing U.S. capacity to use conventional weapons to undermine China's nuclear survivability, China might maintain a significant degree of ambiguity about under what conditions would China threaten or not threaten nuclear use.